Hi, I am the Siri Guy, and today we will recap the movie Deadpool. Don't forget to vote for the next movie on the community tab. The movie begins with a stylish opening sequence that shows Deadpool in a cab on his way to intercept a convoy of bad guys who are transporting his nemesis, Ajax. As he chats with the cabbie, Dopinder, we see flashbacks of his life before he became Deadpool. He was Wade Wilson, a former Special Forces operative who worked as a mercenary. He met and fell in love with Vanessa, a prostitute who shared his dark humor and passion. They got engaged, but soon after, Wade was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Desperate to stay alive for Vanessa, Wade agreed to participate in a secret experiment that promised to cure his cancer and give him superpowers. He was taken to a facility run by Ajax, a sadistic scientist who injected him with a serum that activated his latent mutant genes. However, the serum only worked when subjected to extreme stress and pain, so Ajax tortured Wade for days, trying to trigger his mutation. Eventually, Wade's mutation manifested as an accelerated healing factor that cured his cancer, but also disfigured his entire body. He also gained enhanced strength, agility, and reflexes. Ajax revealed that he intended to sell Wade as a super slave to the highest bidder, and that his real name was Francis Freeman. Wade fought back and escaped from the facility, but not before Ajax stabbed him with a burning knife and left him for dead in the explosion. Wade survived, but was ashamed of his appearance and afraid that Vanessa would reject him. He decided to hunt down Ajax and force him to fix his face. He adopted the alias Deadpool and wore a red suit and mask to hide his scars. He also befriended Weasel, the bartender of a mercenary hangout, who helped him track down Ajax's whereabouts. Along the way, Deadpool encountered two X-Men, Colossus, Dad? a metal-skinned giant who wanted to recruit him as a hero, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead, a moody teenager who could create explosive blasts. They tried to stop Deadpool from killing his enemies, but he ignored them and continued his quest for revenge. Deadpool finally found Ajax on a highway bridge and attacked him and his goons. He managed to subdue Ajax, but before he could interrogate him, Colossus and Negasonic arrived and intervened. Ajax used the distraction to escape, leaving Deadpool frustrated and angry. Meanwhile, Ajax kidnapped Vanessa from her strip club and took her to a decommissioned helicarrier. He called Deadpool and taunted him that he had his girlfriend. Deadpool realized that Ajax had found out about Vanessa from the wallet he had dropped during their fight on the bridge. He decided to team up with Colossus and Negasonic to rescue her. They arrived at the helicarrier and fought their way through Ajax's henchmen. Deadpool confronted Ajax on the deck and demanded that he fix his face. Ajax revealed that he had lied about being able to do that. There was no cure for Wade's disfigurement. Enraged, Deadpool shot Ajax in the head, killing him. He then freed Vanessa from her cage and revealed his true identity to her. She was shocked by his appearance but still loved him for who he was. They kissed as the helicarrier collapsed around them. The movie ends with a post credit scene where Deadpool addresses the audience and teases that Cable, a popular X-Men character from the comics, will appear in the sequel. Don't forget to vote for the next movie, like subscribe and hit the bell.